So let's go ahead and look at the details of transcription and how we use a section of the DNA code, and that individual section is called the gene, to build a piece of messenger RNA. And remember, and remember in our analogy, we're using a single recipe and we're making a photocopy of it so that it can go be used in the kitchen. Transcription is going to occur entirely in the nucleus. And if we look at the steps of transcription, we start with opening a small section of the DNA double helix. Initiation is when an enzyme called RNA polymerase attaches to DNA at a promoter region and moves along to find a start codon. And that start codon is TAC. So this is the same start for any gene anywhere in the DNA. So let's go back here. RNA polymerase, if we look at some uh, parts of this word, ACE means that it's an enzyme. It's going to help facilitate reactions. Polymer, so remember poly means many and mer means unit. So this is an enzyme that's going to build polymers of RNA. So every once in a while the names in biology make sense. This enzyme is going to attach to DNA at a promoter and there's going to be various molecules that will attach to the DNA and it's kind of like a signpost saying, hey RNA polymerase, there's a gene here, you might want to come look here. Then it's going to move along that open bit of DNA to find the actual start codon. Elongation, this is when the RNA polymerase is actually adding matching base pairs to the DNA template and it's using the same base pairing rules we've already talked about and it's just moving along and adding the right base pair. It's going to create a single strand of messenger RNA and the DNA double helix is going to close up right behind the RNA polymerase. The final step is termination and that's when the RNA polymerase reaches a stop codon and breaks off of the DNA and there are three different codons that indicate that you've reached the end of a gene. So let's look at a picture of this. We've got the DNA double helix and then this triangle represents the RNA polymerase. Here we have a little section that is the promoter region. The RNA polymerase will be attracted to that little section of DNA and attach on and that's what we call initiation. The double helix will unwind for a short section and the RNA polymerase will move along the coding strand one side of the DNA and it will match up and add the matching nucleotide according to base pairing rules. And you can see the DNA is closing up behind and the RNA, messenger RNA is being formed here. That's elongation. Then you reach this stop sequence that tells the RNA polymerase it's time to fall off. It's going to go and find another promoter and repeat this process over and over again. It can copy any kind of gene. It's just looking for a promoter region. The messenger RNA has been formed and that's going to go on to the next step. So here's a quick way to practice some transcription. We have a strand of DNA. It's unwound, but we can see the A, T, C's, and G's, and it's the double strand. And I'm telling you that this is the coding side of the DNA. Here's a piece of messenger RNA, and what I'd like you to do is write down on your lecture notes what nucleotide would go here and what nucleotide would go here. You're basically going to be acting as RNA polymerase, reading the DNA, and creating a piece of messenger RNA. So pause this video, take a moment to do that, and then you can come back and see what the answer is. So now you can see what the answer is. Hopefully this is what you came up with. And you just did transcription. Notice at the end we have a completely intact piece of DNA as well as a new piece of messenger RNA. You may also notice that the non-coding side of the DNA looks a whole lot like the messenger RNA, except wherever there is a thymine, we have a uracil instead. And this is transcription.